so someone asked a question in the pre or they left a comment in the previous video that they basically just asked like forget the mathematics is the 8 kilowatt an 8 kilowatt well to which the answer is no because there's no such thing there is only 2 kilowatts and 4 kilowatt bodies but what I thought I would do in this video is show you why 8 kilowatt heaters don't exist using mathematics and the example of the heater not doing it uh, please excuse the beeping you can hear in the background I've got the big uh, gas sensors on for nitric oxide, nitrogen dioxide, sulfur dioxide etc and the usual carbon monoxides but they should be muted at the moment apart from the big emergency one that really tells me if it's time to leave the workshop Right, first we will have a look at my fag paper, well, in this case uh, envelope, uh, mathematics so your standard diesel heater pump is a 22, does this one actually say on it? That's got, uh, can you see, oh, if I was even in shot, 12 volt, 22 mil. So that is 22 millilitres per 1000 strokes, or 1000 pumps. That pump is too small for what we need. Because I did the maths, and to get 28.8 megajoules, which is 8 kilowatts worth of well, that would be 8 kilowatts worth of diesel, but we know we're not going to get it. So it's about, we're going approximations. We need to pump through 777-ish millilitres an hour to get uh, 8 kilowatts. So the 22 uh, hertz, uh, 22 mil pump would have to run at about 10 hertz to get that to work. And the controllers don't go up to 10 hertz, so that won't work. So I've swapped out to a big pump. Uh, a 65, that's the big uh, Wobasto one, so that's a 65mm and uh, doing the maths we need to run that at 3.3 hertz to get us nearly 777 millilitres per hour now, to get the amount of air in that I require I did the rough maths in that and the fan needs to be spinning at 10,500 10 RPM it can't do 10.5, it can do 5 so already we can't get 8 kilowatts out of this here. It just will not go fast enough. We can get the fuel in. Uh, we cannot get the air out with the standard controller. Because it just it only goes up to 5,000. Then I'm not even sure that the fan water would survive running at 10,500 if we could get it up there. So that's the maths. So 3.3 on 65. That'll get us I'll just sort of under a litre an hour, which is our 8 kilowatt mark so let's fire up the heater then and see what happens so i'm going to fire it up and i'll bring you back once it's actually lit and has started running so at the moment i've got it set it hopefully should be set to 3.3 hertz for the low side i've gone as slow as the pump can go which is 0.8 hertz and I think I set it to 2,500 RPM which should get us a lean enough burn that it will actually start oh, well, it's, oh, it's actually, let's just start it I'll turn it on it's, it's uh, I don't know if you can hear that but that's, that is a fast start listen to how fast that fan is going yeah so not to spoil um, the end result here but in testing I tested the air intake temperature air output temperature and the airspeed, put the maths through the laptop, and I got 5.6 kilowatts. That that that's it. Five five. You can get 5.6 out of this full RPM, big pump, black smoke. 5.6. You cannot get eight out of eight. An eight kilowatt heater does not exist. I can't even get it to burn eight kilowatts worth of diesel. Because if people haven't realised, the controller's clever enough that when the housing temperature gets up to nearly overheat it throttles back the fueling so we're not probably not even getting the full 3.3 all the time you can well you can hear it and see the smoke when it throttles back and right it's lit now and which is actually quite surprising it lit quite nicely ah, excellent I could probably work out how many kilowatts it is at low ah, I'll do that afterwards uh, right, on she goes. I'll bring you back once it's up and fully running. Okay, we are up and running. We are at two red things. Two, two red things, yes. Let's uh, wander in the shop with the carbon 
dioxide. So OL is, a, is, a, is off the scale. It's so much CO2, carbon monoxide, it can't read it. So that's the sulfur dioxide alarm telling us to run away. Run, run away. So that's off the scale, carbon monoxide, and what's the buff? Is that a percentage? Uh, five, nearly five parts per million of sulfur dioxide. I'm going to turn the extractor fan on now. Shut down. Well, it's been a few minutes now and uh, they still won't stop beeping. So, that one's still high hundreds. That one's, well, the red light's flashing, it's never a good sign. And that one up there's still flashing as well. Okay, all of the beeping's now stopped. Hooray. Uh, okay, so, hopefully, hopefully that puts to rest that there is only two sensitive heaters. There's only the small body, two kilowatt, and the large body, four kilowatt. There is no such thing as a five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve kilowatt heater. They do not exist. They cannot exist. They, the maths won't let it happen, and the physics won't let it happen. Well, I suppose the physics would if we could tune this up to run it. Ten and a half thousand RPM. Oh man, that'd be that's definitely a video for another day. See if we can get this thing absolutely cooking and see if we can melt the aluminium housing. That sounds like a video for another day. But uh, comments, questions down below if you would also like to do your own maths and if hey if you can do the maths to prove that it'll work, please, please leave them down below in the comments. And if you Agree, disagree, but if you disagree, please show you're working. And and and, and I think that's, that's it for just now. It's currently three degrees in here, so I'm gonna go away now. Um, thanks for watching.